Hi everyone, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Today we'll be making a peel-off face mask using charcoal and what this does is that it removes all the impurities from your face as well as the blackheads and whiteheads. So I hope you guys give it a shot and let's get right into it. So instead of arts and crafts glue, what we'll be using instead is gelatin and you can get this in any grocery store. You just need one pouch of it and then you want to add an eighth of a cup of water. Next, you'll just want to give these two ingredients a really good mix and then pop it into the microwave for about 20 to 30 seconds until the gelatin has congealed a little. Once the water and gelatin mixture has heated up, you just want to go ahead and add your main ingredient, which is charcoal. And then if you want to be a little extra fancy, you can go ahead and add in a few drops of your favorite essential oil. Next, you want to go ahead and give everything a really good mix to make sure that the charcoal is evenly dispersed throughout the mixture. And this will ensure that you have a very good, smooth application when you go to put on the mask. Before moving on, you'll want to make sure that your face is nice and clean. So here I just washed my face and I'm patting it dry. So now we're ready to start applying the mask. You can definitely use your hands for this, but I like to use a brush. I just think it's a bit cleaner and it also helps to apply the mask a lot more evenly and smoothly. So I just used an old foundation brush that I had. Generously apply the mixture all over your face, being sure to cover the most important trouble areas that you have, such as your nose or your forehead. And here I added about two to three layers of the mask before I was happy with it. Now just be sure to avoid your eyebrows, your under eyes, and the around your mouth area. Next, you just want to let it dry and then we'll come back to it. So now it's been about 30 minutes and the mask is completely dry. I cannot move my face. I'm trying really, really hard, but nothing moves. So that's how we know that it's ready to start peeling. And so we'll just start doing that. So starting from the side of your face, you want to start to peel off the mask. And it's okay if you do it in smaller pieces as I'm doing here. That worked great. And contrary to those who used glue as the base of their mask, this did not hurt at all while I was peeling it. It was in fact very gentle on my skin. And the results are really amazing, as you'll see right about now. So I've zoomed in on the residue left on the mask. And as you can see, it really got all of my blackheads, my whiteheads, and any kind of impurities that were on my skin is now on this mask. It really did a fantastic job at removing everything. So now you just want to go ahead and wash your face again, apply your favorite serum or face cream, and you'll see that your face feels baby soft. Like my skin felt amazing after it. It felt super clean, super soft, and I could really notice a difference. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys give this a try, and if you like the video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!